Welcome back, friends, fellow Tarnished, to another Elden Ring video. It is JFam. Thank you for joining me today. Today is a new series we're going to be doing where we showcase weapons that I, I, I actually beat the game already. As you can see, I don't want to give too much away, but I have beat the game. But before we get into this video, let me know what this fit is rated. One being the worst fit you've ever seen, or ten being the best. Let me know in the comments section. But we're going to be doing a new series where basically we discuss... Weapons that I think might have been overlooked or passed over that you guys might be interested in trying. So the format is I'm basically going to discuss the weapon, today being the Great Stars, show you some of my favorite Ashes of War, beat up some bad guys, and at the end you can decide if this is something that you want to unlock. I will always put a link to the Elden Wiki and the location and how to unlock these. And if you can't find it, YouTube has covered pretty much everything possible when it comes to weapons. But to be honest, right now, this is one of my favorite weapons. I've been using it in PvP and PvE, and it's just a lot of fun. It primarily scales on strength. It does scale on dexterity a bit, but it also has a blood loss buildup of 55. Now you can see the stats here, 697 at plus 24. But what I like about this thing, okay, when I'm running these Talisman, this is my strength load. So you can see I'm running uh, 60 strength on this setup here. And I'm running a equipment load of one of 86, but these Talismans are the most important Talismans because I'm doing a lot of jump attacks. Um, obviously, we want to increase our weight so we can have this beefy armor. My favorite thing about running this weapon, because... When I want to use a Colossal Sword, just some overly ridiculous powerful weapon for my strength build, I can never really run this shield and a ginormous weapon. But as you can see, I can maintain a medium load using this great hammer. Now if I throw this on, I'm automatically getting a heavy load. I love this weapon, but this great stars allows me just to feel like a strength demon and be able to use this shield at the same exact time and i love this shield it's a lot a lot of fun but let me show you what ash of war i really like on this weapon it is amazing it's the flaming strike so basically what it does you throw out a flame l2 throw out a flame and then you follow up with an r2 and you just swing this thing so fast i mean it's insane now if we take a look we put this away as i mentioned 697 now what's cool about the ash of war is it gives you a slight buff oops sorry now let's take a look we're at 762 so about 80 to 90 damage buff maybe 70 and that is awesome so now you're getting blood loss and you're getting flame damage now what I also like to do, and I might not have it set it up right now at this moment. Oh, sorry. I do. So I'll pop flame, grant me strength, extra damage, and then you have this Ash of War with this monster freaking hammer. It is absolutely amazing. I love this thing. So let's go take it to some bad guys and see what we can do. All right, let's go put it on some normal guys. Obviously, I'm over leveled, but I just want to kind of show you. What is capable of? And it's cool because you don't have to do the follow-up R2 attack with this. You can kind of get an area of guys and let's you can kind of spam this. See? And you don't have to follow up with the, with the actual R2 attack. And it's got a good area coverage as far as AoE. That's what I like about it. But obviously you always have the R2 follow-up attack. Hit him with this. Oop, did it a little too light there. Let's see if we can get this guy with the attack. Yeah, we're just so over leveled. Let's let's round these guys up. Let's round them up a little bit. Come on, fellas. Yeah, come over here. Now watch. It's got a lot of a wide angel coverage. The flame does. Look at that. So you got a group of people. It's got some good coverage. Let's give this guy the the combo. Okay. Oh yeah, he couldn't take it. Oh, oh, man. And hey, let's collect the loot. <laughs> we don't need any of this stuff. <laughs> let's go take it to the Giants, see what they can handle. All right, we like to pick on the Giants pretty often, so let's give them a... I, I, let's, 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 let's do it without Great Me Strength, and let's do it with Great Me Strength. Let's see what happens. All right, that's insane. Look at that damage. 
Now let's buff with great strength here. Let's see what we can get out of it. So we're buff with that. Come in. Maybe we can get a throw the fire in R2 him and kill him one hit. Almost. Oh, he got me with the stomp though. Almost one hit him. Wow. Okay, this thing is insane. I really like this build. What are these bats doing? Let's see if we can take these guys out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That ain't bad. Take that, buddy. Yeah, trying to ruin my video, you little rats. <laughs> All right, everybody, that is it for the video. Let me know what you think. Once again, the Great Stars weapon with the Flaming Strike Ashes of War. Just amazing. You could try this kind of setup here. I'm not going to break it all too much down. Don't want to waste your time. But this is exactly what I run. And I just absolutely love it. It's a lot of fun. It is a ton of fun. So I hope this video helped you out. Let me know if you like this weapon or if you're going to give it a shot. Once again, the Elden Wiki link to on how to unlock it, the location and everything will be in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day. Later.